Hi beautiful people, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. And in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and suggestions on what to do when you can't get your hands on baby formula. Um, we all know that there is a shortage in baby formula right now because of the previous recall that they had. These will be a few tips and suggestions that will help in helping you in getting your hands on the baby formula that you need. So let's get right into the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to let me know um, so I can know if you guys are um, enjoying the content that I am putting out. So my first suggestion would be to call your pediatrician and ask and inquire if they have any formula in stock. They may have some on hand or may have some left over and they could, you know, lend you some. Also, try reaching out to your local health department or the Women, Infants, and Children program, which is also known as WIC. Now, granted, the WIC program is a program that you have to um, sign up for and fill out the required paperwork and form, if I'm not mistaken. But I have read up that they're being a little lenient due to the formula shortage. So go ahead and, you know, give them a call and check them out and see if they have any um, extra formula that your child, that your baby uses that they can, you know, lend to you. Now, the third thing you can do in this time of a formula shortage is to call your child's doctor or the doctor office where baby was delivered to see if the doctor has any formula sh samples on hand from formula representatives. They'll know what you're talking about. Just give them a call and it does not hurt to inquire. You can call and check with local charities that are in your area. Check with the smaller um, local mom and pop grocery stores that are in your area as well. Because as I mentioned in my previous video, those are not the first go-to stores for most shoppers. So they could have very well have formula on hand and in stock at their stores. Also check out uh, the drug stores like CVS, Walgreens, um, Rite Aid, and maybe even um, if the Rite Aid is still um, you know up in your area. Also check Target as well. These stores have purchase limits on the formula that they did do have in stock. So it may be only two per customer per day. So they could very well still have some formula in stock. So next, I do recommend getting on social media via Facebook, um, Instagram, um, whatever you have to do, whatever social media platform you use, and reach out to some of the parenting groups. I know Facebook have lots of parenting support groups, um, baby support groups. These groups could very well lead you to resources in, for your particular area where they may have some formula, or you may um, come across a mom or dad or someone in that group who has extra formula on hand that you use. And yes, I do understand that everyone does not use the same formula. Um, it just depends on baby, but you never know. It doesn't hurt to reach out and try some of these suggestions and see what you can find. And if you haven't done so already, the formula that you may have purchased in the previous months that had um, a recall on it, you could take it back to your local grocery store, grocery store and exchange it for formula um that they may have on hand since that um but batch was recalled if you haven't done so already another great idea is try reaching out to some family or friends via phone text social media call them up ask them hey if you see this type of formula would you please go ahead and purchase it and that let them know you'll cash app them or zell them the the money the cost of the formula and shipping and ask them, can they go ahead and ship it out to you through mail, through the postal service or UPS, ground shipping, whichever you prefer. See if they'll, you know, be on the lookout for your um, family members who don't have any babies. See if they'll be on the lookout and if they see the formula while they're in the store or shopping. Hey, could you go ahead and purchase it for me? Because I really want to, you know, stay ahead or we really need this formula. So that's definitely another great um suggestion it takes a village um so try doing that 
And my last tip is to use your phone and call 211 or contact Feeding America where you will be connected to a community specialist who can direct you direct you to local resources um, in your area based off your zip code and where you live. They could direct you to maybe charities or food pantries or the local hospital or doctor's office, pediatrician office who has, who they know for a fact has formula on hand um, because, you know, these companies all work together. These people all work together. So they, if you reach out to them, they could put in, you know, a word for you or put your name on a list and say, hey, so-and-so is going to be coming to pick up formula. They called us because these people are in place to help you get the um, resources and things that you need. So, yes, these are my suggestions and tips on what to do when you can't get formula um, during such a time as this, which is a big formula shortage. I hope that you come across this video and that it you find it very helpful. And let me know, comment down below, which um, suggestion or which tip worked for you. Or even if you have... Um, some tips to help other moms out here with babies comment down below let them know what you did to get you some formula on hand dur during this time um, of formula shortage and if you found the video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these and until next time you guys stay blessed stay stocking up on things emergency items and i'll see you guys in the next video